Singer Lizzo is being sued by three of her former dancers, one of which is from Indianapolis. News 8's Danielle Zlokoski spoke to those dancers to hear the claims in their lawsuit. There are nine complaints listed in this lawsuit against Lizzo, her touring company, and the captain of her dance team, Shirlene Quigley. Ariana Davis is the dancer originally from Indianapolis, and she is listed as a plaintiff in each instance. Crystal Williams and Noel Rodriguez are the other plaintiffs alongside Ariana Davis in the lawsuit against pop star Lizzo. The suit lists sexual, religious, and racial harassment, disability discrimination, interference with prospective economic advantage, assault, and false imprisonment. It had been an unspoken thing in the camp that, you know, those who partied with Lizzo or those who were down for anything with um, Lizzo were more favored um, as as dancers or just cast members and um, en ended up getting special treatment. All of the women allege sexual harassment against each defendant, including Lizzo. David and Rodriguez say they were at a sexually explicit bar in Amsterdam with the singer when Davis was forced to touch the performers. I didn't want to um, at all, and I said no in many different ways multiple times and um then she started a chant and started going Ari Ari and everybody kind of joined in and then you know I was embarrassed so and I just wanted it to kind of like end so um, I briefly touched the performer. Lizzo is directly accused of assault by Rodriguez. The dancer alleges Lizzo attempted to attack her when she resigned. I was very level headed. I simply just expressed the way I was feeling. And then, you know, she comes and, and does all of that. So it was shocking. I was like, wow, me saying that I feel mistreated prompted you to then get physical. The dancers allege they were forced to re-audition in what they called an excruciating day. She had essentially told us that if she didn't like what she saw on stage, then we would be uh, going home. So even after all of that, she was like, it's okay, but just know that basically my eyes are still on you. The complaint of religious harassment is fired against Quigley and the touring company. She told one of our other dance members that she was going to make it her mission to minister to me throughout the tour. Why is it so targeted? I think she was living vicariously through me because I upheld some sort of, in her eyes, some sort of moral standard of, you know, virginity. Lizzo has responded to the allegations, saying in part, usually I choose not to respond to false allegations, but these are as unbelievable as they sound and too outrageous not to be addressed. The sensationalized stories are coming from former employees who have already publicly admitted they were told their behavior on tour was inappropriate and unprofessional. The dancers say they faced weight shaming while they were on tour with Lizzo, something that is in direct opposition with the singer's body positive branding. Davis says she felt the need to explain her weight gain in order to keep her job. I'm Danielle Zolkowski for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and like us on Facebook.